Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this lesson, we're going to keep talking about the standard windows that you'll find inside of Unity. And for this lesson, we want to talk about the project window. So here we have our tutorial project open in Unity, and I want to identify the project window to begin with. The project window is currently located right here. It's this window here, and it might be in a different place for you, but you can identify the project window because the tab up at the top is labeled with project and it has a little folder icon next to it. Now to give you a simple definition of what the project window is, the project window is the file system for your game. So every single asset that you're going to use in creating your game, you're going to have saved inside the file system of your game and that file system is going to be displayed inside the project window. So currently you can see that we have this folder here that says assets. Now if we go to our file explorer and we open that up, I'm going to bring it over. You can see here that I have our Unity tutorial project selected and inside our Unity tutorial project folder you can see that we have these folders here and all these folders make up the creation of your video game. So when you do a build, it's going to use all these folders and all the files inside these folders to create your video game. So this first folder that says assets is probably the most important folder for your, you as a game developer. This is the same folder that you find inside your project window that says assets. And so you can think of the project window mirroring the structure of your video game by displaying the file system, and but not the whole file system, just the assets folder and everything contained inside the assets folder. So here, if we open the assets folder, you can see that it's currently empty, just like our asset folder in the project window. Now, if I were to right click on the asset folder inside the project window and go create, and then let's say folder, we can add a new folder in this, we could say scenes. And once we've saved the name of the folder, we can then go back to our file explorer. And you can now see that we have a new folder inside our assets folder. This is because the asset folder is being displayed inside the project window. So anything that you add to the project window will also be added here inside the asset folder. And anything you add here inside the asset folder will also appear in the project window. So to show you that, I'm going to right click inside the asset folder of our file explorer and go new and say folder. And this one could be scripts. And then when we go back to our project, you can see now we have two folders in our project window listed under the asset folder. We have scenes and scripts. Now I've been showing you how to create folders inside your asset folder. And this is a very important skill that you're going to want to use all the time because it's very important that you keep your project window and your asset folder organized. If you don't keep it organized, then you just shove all the assets that you ever have inside the asset folder without using subfolders, then you're just going to have one big mess inside your asset folder. Now there's so many different types of assets that go into the creation of a video game. You have scripts, you have sprites, you have models, you have particle effects, materials, you have animations and audio tracks, and that's just a few of them. So it's important that you create folders to organize all these different assets into the types of assets that you have. Now the next thing that we want to talk about is creating the assets. So we showed you how to create folders, and you can do that by right clicking on your asset folder and then go to create, and then folder. You can also do that by clicking the create button and then folder up the top. But there's also this huge list of assets that you can create as well. And you're gonna to need to become familiar with all these assets so that you know how to create a video game. But we'll cover each of these assets in a future video. But let's say that we wanted to create a C-sharp script. What we can do is we can select our scripts folder and then go create, and up at the top, we will select C-sharp. You can then give this script a name. So I'm just going to name it as test. And there we go. We've shown you now how to create a C sharp script. If you want to create any other type of asset, you're going to follow the same process. You're going to create a folder that fits that type of asset. You're going to then select that folder and then go to create. And then you can just select the asset that you want to create. 
You can have C-sharp scripts and shaders or sprites and animations. Now, even though there's a pretty big list of assets that you can create using the drop-down menu here, this is not all the assets that you're going to use to create a video game. There's assets that you need to create in other programs, such as Maya if you're creating models, Photoshop if you're creating images like sprites. You can also use recording software to record audio and sound effects. Now once you create an asset using a third-party program, you need to import it into Unity. Now the easiest way to do this is to open the file location of the asset you want to import using your file explorer. So here I have the location of our chef Giuseppe that we created for our Mario Run clone. Now right here we have the FBX file which is the model for our Chef Giuseppe. Now if I want to import my Chef Giuseppe I can just simply click on that file and drag it into the project window over a folder. So right now I'm just going to drop him in the asset folder. Then when I go back to Unity I can select my asset folder and here you can see that we have the model for our Chef Giuseppe. Now this same principle applies to all other asset files. So if you have a sound effect, you just select that sound effect and drag it into your project folder. If you have a sprite, you do the same thing. Now there's one last feature that we want to talk about regarding the project window, and that is the search options. So first off, we have this favorites drop-down menu, and underneath the favorites, we have various preset search options. So we have all materials, all models, all prefabs, and all scripts. Now when I select one of these, say all materials, it will show all of the materials that I have currently in my asset folder. Same thing with all models, all prefabs, and all scripts. The next search feature, and probably the most important, is the search bar. Now the search bar, you can just type in any object by name or by component. So if there's a component attached to, say, a prefab, and you type in the component or the name of a script, it'll then find all the objects with that component. So if you're searching for like a box collider, you could type in box collider and those objects will show up. Same thing with scripts. So for example, if I were to type in chef, it then shows all the assets with chef in the name. So we have our chef model, our chef avatar, and our chef material. Now there's three more buttons regarding searching. The first one is just to the right of the search bar and this is search by type. So when you select this it's a drop down menu that shows different types of assets. So you can have it show just the meshes, the models, the prefabs, the scenes, the shaders, the scripts, and so on. The next one is the search by label option. Now this is another drop down menu where it has a bunch of different labels. Now if you have any assets that have been labeled with any of these labels, you can then select it and it should show up. Now the last button is for saving searches. So say I were to search for the chef, I could then click this save search button and that will add a new search option under the favorites. And so I could type in chef, and now when I need to search for chef in the future, rather than typing it into the search bar, I can then just click the chef search option under favorites, and it'll do that search for me. Now that's all the features that we wanted to discuss in this video about the project window. Now the project window is really important and I would highly recommend that you always have it available to you in your workstation. I hope this video was informative and that you now know how to use the project window to develop video games. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get regular updates when we release new videos. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.